There is no beginning to this narrative, really. There is no middle and there is no end. Life happened before I turned on the camera and knock on wood, life will continue after I turn off the camera. <laughs> I hear it, but I don't see it. So much noise and so little actual activity. The, oh, 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 no. What a shame. We're watching Charlie's TikToks. <laughs> Big feelings. <laughs> Good morning. Hi babe. Happy New Year. This is perfectly new. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. This is already taking some getting used to. I wasn't even gone that long. It was like two years. But in less than 24 hours, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to film anything. So now it's the 2nd of January, which means it's my birthday. I'm gonna open some presents from Mamie, meet my dad and my brother for dim sum. You'll see, hopefully, if I if I um remember how to do this. And there's Kiki. She hasn't changed. Her birthday present to me this morning is that she's refusing to eat her breakfast. You're ridiculous. Put your foot down. Hi guys and welcome back to my latest unboxing video. Today we're going to be unboxing my birthday presents from Amy. I'm not going to keep this up, but look. Pretty mermaid wrapping paper. She said to open this little one first, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. But I think I'm going to do it off camera, because this is a special treat just for me. I opened the little bag and there was further mermaid wrapping paper. There's loads of Oh no, it's not that funny. Rubbish. What? Oi. What are you doing? Oh, well, good night to you too. I'm speaking softly because my flatmates are asleep. I'm whispering. Let's just say I'm whispering. So for those who don't know, when the pandemic first kind of hit and then lockdown was announced in the UK in March 2020, I very quietly and I think calmly started preparing for the end of the world, or at least you know the world as we know it, which in my head was like technology and the internet and electricity will probably go down like pretty soonish. And the way this kind of panic manifested was that I was like, oh no, every photo and video that I've taken in the past seven or eight years is all online. So what if the internet just suddenly failed and stopped being a thing? I would have no photos of like friends, family, pets, and then how would I hold them up and go, have you seen this person? 
whilst I'm scouring the globe trying to locate them in this sort of post-apocalyptic future that I imagined myself somehow surviving. Anyway, that's why in April 2020 I ordered 300 photo prints of friends, family, Kiki. So I bought a photo album and then I realised that this is something that I could keep doing. So I'm going to keep taking photos. Cut to today, my third photo album. <laughs> has arrived. I've already started organising them and I don't do it by event or year, I kind of do it by vibe. For example, us filming Bacon with Leighton, this is us in the Lake District, this is us at Noor's wedding, but they kind of have a similar composition, we're all looking directly to camera, the framing's pretty similar because they're all like, like arm's length photos, so even though they are completely separate, different events, you know, same energy. Sometimes the themes aren't even themes, they're kind of more of a visual puzzle to be solved. These look like six photos that bear no relation to each other whatsoever. However, if you look on one side, they are three photos where everyone has their backs to the camera. And then on the other side, each of their corresponding day, and now everyone's looking at the camera. It's like a question and an answer. Look, it, it really makes sense to me. Okay, and that's... <laughs> This is my album, guys. It really means a lot that you're all here. This is a wonderful sort of collection of like my community in London, sort of a lovely affirmation that this is still very much home. It's nice seeing the various people who I've worked with together in the past, who I'm currently working with various projects, friends from the YouTube days, family. Like this is a like it's not the main reason to make a film, but I recommend it. As a side <laughs> you, get, you get a moment like this, so it's very lovely. That's a good point, I should get that shot. Tom, no, I hate this. I hate this hey, I bullshit. Really Tom. Oh my god. <laughs> also me. I'm cool. Oh, Goodness oh, sakes. Oh. <laughs> 1,000 pieces. Well, I am currently sat on my kitchen floor waiting for my tea to brew, so I figured what better time to air some thoughts. Do you air thoughts? I'm gonna air some thoughts. Things that I've basically been thinking about since New Year, since I first picked up the camera again for the first time in. Granted, only two years, but I think we can all agree those two years have felt like a very long time. I am constantly being confronted with why I'm doing this. I'm worried almost constantly that when I do anything, it's because I'm trying to recreate something I've already done. I appreciate the irony of me saying that in a series that I've brought back after two years, but the thesis <laughs> of what I'm trying to get across is that I don't want to keep living in the past by trying to recreate the past in my present. Nostalgia's great. Love a bit of nostalgia. I loved who my friends were. I loved who I was. I loved the things we were doing. But that doesn't mean that my life now should be about trying to get that back. I want to start, because I feel like I haven't actively been doing so already, I want to start making my memories, memories in their own right, and not just a copycat of a memory I've already had. And that is also a big part of why I want to do Little Moments, is because, because it will remind me that the things I'm doing now are new and, and just as exciting. I don't want my 30s to be my 20s 2.0. My 30s get to be my 30s, they get to be their own thing. And so doing vlogs like these has always been a way for me to try and be present and be in that moment, which sounds strange because you feel like if you're looking at your life through a camera, that's not being in the moment. But for me, getting my phone out is a reminder to stop and breathe and take stock of where I am and what I'm doing. And the physical act of recording something <laughs> almost helps me commit it to memory. And in that respect, really appreciate the, the little moments. That's why I called it little moments, was because not everything was a fantastical adventure but that didn't mean it didn't matter and it didn't count and that's what I wanted to do and that's what I wanted to do again because for the past few years I feel like I haven't been present and it's a different part of my life and that should also be celebrated. You don't have to celebrate my life. <laughs> this doesn't have to be for you if you don't want it to be. 
Um, but I, I'm, I'm making my little home videos and putting them on the internet. And if you're watching them, hi. <laughs> my tea is probably brewed by now. Don't make fun of my We're thing. We're so sick. <laughs> Rude. This is a good bit. It's my birthday. It's my birthday too now. I have to say this. Tom, am I dead? <laughs> oh. Oh my god. It's nothing. <laughs> I love this technique. Oh my god! That would have been really, that would have been really cool though. No, I'm filming this one. This is my footage. No, Go I'm away. filming. Yo! Don't, Yo! don't distract her. Oh god! You got this. This is the hardest game. Oh Jesus Christ! I just wanted to win something nice for the birthday girl. Tom, no! Bro, Tom! Tom! <laughs> Tom! I can't multitask! Amy, act like you're having a good time. Oh, it's a cut series! It is! Do you want... Can you act like you're trying to crumble the if you say gently, he won't snatch off gently. Gently. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, God. Then it will go, oh, come back to me for a bit. No, I can probably do that, do a long one, do that, and then just bring it. Yeah. So you can do that whole line, I think. Yeah. I'm sorry, you're legit filming, didn't you, Alice? That's right. So cool! <laughs> Hell yeah! Are you still fighting Mario? No, we're friends now. Oh, Beyonce! This is about to get. Chaotic. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> this is quite cool. an endeavor. But. Oh, he stuck the landing. Look at that. It is a Monday and I'm on my lunch break. So, while I am waiting for my tea to stew, thought I'd uh, take you on a little adventure that I've been going through personally. The saga of the neighbor's bed sheet. Opposite my house is another residential building and the tenants who live in the topmost flat of this building have a balcony that they occasionally use to dry their washing. So about three weeks ago, their washing was out and it was pretty stormy, but they had accounted for this by seemingly tying most of their washing to the railings of the balcony. And one of their sheets did blow away or so they thought, because they did such a good job tying it in place that in fact it's still there. But I think they still think it's gone because this bed sheet has now been hanging from their railings for about three weeks. It's just been <laughs> such a long time and like it's just hanging in there. Someone save it. You can't use another weapon while you're using this one. Make a horn roll. I think she did it. <laughs> you grow larger and more powerful with the energies released. Soon you will grow great enough to encircle the world and capture it within your coils. I'm back to whispering because I don't know who in this house is currently awake or asleep. And I don't wanna push my luck. It's the last 10 minutes of January. Last 10 minutes of the first episode. Forgot to film a lot. So some things never change. <laughs> I even forgot that the last day of the month means that I actually have to edit this now. But forwards we go. It is good to be back. 